Okay, let's remind ourselves of the default masks for our different address classes. We remember in the earlier session of this course, we memorized that a class A address had one portion that made up the network and had the three portions that made up the host addressing. Aha! Now that we look at this in binary, we can clearly see that, right? We can clearly see that, yeah, oh my goodness, the mask is 255-000, and that would be those all ones in the initial field. If you do what's called prefix notation with this, it's a slash eight mask. I love prefix notation. Instead of writing out 255-000 for the subnet mask, we have the ability to just say, look, there are eight bits that make up the subnet mask. That prefix notation is awesome, isn't it? Notice here, as we examine this default subnet mask, that we have this portion identifying the network and this portion identifying hosts, just like we had memorized earlier on. All right, the class A. How about a class B? Well, with the class B, no big surprise, especially based on what we had memorized early on. We've got the first two octets that identify the network by default. So we have all ones in those first two octets. The second two octets identify a particular workstation in that network. Those would be all these zeros right over here. The slash 16 or 255255 is the mask in our class B example. How about a class C? No surprise here. By default, the first three octets make up the subnet mask, leaving the final octet for our host addressing. Here we can see the subnet mask that would result, and the slash 24 is our prefix notation.